What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and as the name suggests today we're looking at Tool of Destruction or more specifically Rocket Launcher within Tool of Destruction how to make it viable in both solo and co-op play and just how to have a lot of fun with this build which actually ends up being ridiculously powerful but I suppose you might have a question from your side as in why would I even try to do this and to that I only have to say we will ask the questions instead let me rather answer your question with a series of my own questions do you want access to 31 rockets before going on cooldown do you want that cooldown to only be 23 seconds long until you're ready to rock and roll again and more specifically do you want to look like a quake 3 badass by just rocket jumping and shooting everything all over the place with massive damage dealing rockets while at the same time buffing the damage and just the general health of your party all around now if the answer to any of those questions are yes or fuck yes then you've come to the right place and this is the build for you i will go through exactly how to manage the cooldowns the rotations exactly which mod you need and basically how to build this and this has been uh kind of like me going down a rabbit hole on a specific skill or more specifically wanting to make a skill as viable as possible and as uh as explosive as possible and this is due to comments which i saw on my previous video around shrapnel the grenade build so some of my viewers made some suggestions which made me go down this rabbit hole which made me look at this and i was so pleasantly surprised by what i found and just how much fun this build can be but if you don't believe me i'm gonna roll some footage for you right now check it out check how many rockets i'm using it's it's just borderline ridiculous and after that we're gonna go through the mods we're gonna go through the build and the rotation and basically see how it all ties together check you on the other side Alrighty, so as mentioned, the idea of this build, the crux of this build, revolves around the usage of rocket launcher and keeping as much ammo or getting as much ammo out of it as you can before going on an extremely low cooldown. Um, for this build, that, that was sort of like what I started and I just fleshed out around that, but at the same time, I desperately wanted to include the Grim Inventor set into this as well because its set bonus, if we look at the bottom here, uh, actually directly uh, contributes to the, the end goal that I'm trying to accomplish here. Now, first of all, this set bonus essentially says that while Tool of Destruction is active, in other words, while you have the rocket launcher out, uh, a confirmed, uh, a confirmed, <laughs> confirmed hit with pain launcher refills 20% to the ammunition for both your minigun and your RPG. Now, this can only happen once uh, per Tool of Destruction usage. This used to be broken and could actually be used uh, with Pepper 2 mobile and this you could use this repeatedly and you would just e eventually have like uh, or not eventually just right off the bat you'd have an infinite supply of rockets unfortunately that doesn't work anymore so the best we're going to get the maximum amount of rockets that you can get out of one rotation of this before you go on cooldown is 31 rockets which is still ridiculous each one of these rockets are hitting between 700 to 950 thousand points of damage depending on which of your skills are proccing and this also does splash damage, so you're able to deal that damage to more than one target at once, depending on how closely they cluster together. Now, um, just one last little thing that I want to explain about specifically the set bonus here is a confirmed hit with Pain Launcher. Pain Launcher is the missile launching skill, and it launches a whole bunch of missiles. Each one of those missiles 
that hits refills you for 20 percent. so if five out of a volley hits you get your full you know while 10 rockets back getting you back up to a maximum magazine size of 11 which you also get through the mods of this build so that's basically how it all pulls together but let's quickly just look at weapons and then we'll carry on so i'm using my trusty air to the desert in this um with sandstorm and fortress on but mostly the thing that i'm after with with this build is i'm looking for armor pierce so any weapon that you have that potentially has armor pierce on it um which i mean you could use amber vault if you want to anything like that but the point is i want a weapon that has armor pierce on it and then what i want to do is i want to slap fortress onto that as well so that i get the additional damage from that now i have the animoi and i have torment and agony on this build as well because if stuff does make it through my rocket volleys and everything like that i can quickly just switch out and moaning wins them down but as you saw in the footage from earlier i didn't actually use that combo and yes when you go up against bosses if you actually eventually run out of rockets and you have to wait those 20 seconds for the rockets to basically come back online the moaning winds combo is a fantastic way to just thin stuff out and basically kill things that are coming close to you again i'm using air to the desert so that also gives me access to sandstorm which is also a great way to punish enemies that are standing still and you know shooting at you or anything like that or to poke something that's far behind cover so just basically it works together but the bottom line here is mostly i have air to the desert out and it's mostly because i want for i want fortress and i want armor pierce uh, and obviously that'll make a bit more sense now when we look at the rest of the mods now as mentioned this is using uh grim inventors the set and this is an anomaly build so despite the fact that tool of destruction uses a rocket launcher that doesn't actually benefit from firepower at all it actually benefits from anomaly power and scales off of your anomaly power so you'll notice that i have 190k of anomaly here and obviously you're just trying to get that as high as possible so i make sure that i have anomaly power on all five of my pieces the next important thing to have on all five of your pieces is cooldown reduction because you want not only tool of destruction to come off cooldown as fast as possible but also the other two skills which we're going to look at which is also part of this build so basically you just want these things to come off as uh, off cooldown as fast as possible all three skills we're using uh with this build have very high cooldown requirements by default so you have to chip away at this to make this viable otherwise you're going to have super long sort of down times where you can't really do anything except melee and shoot with your weapon and you're not really able to do that much damage with those because your firepower is not stacked ridiculously high and also just because uh, especially if you're using it in a co-op scenario then that damage is just not sufficient to really make a dent in the enemies now when we look at the headpiece first uh and then sorry one last thing i forgot uh, uh is that we, we said we want cooldown reduction and we want anomaly power now for your third substat uh skills life leech is fantastic because remember you're shooting these big fat rockets and each one of those rockets can essentially heal you almost all the way up and this is just further on help by you know stacking skills life leech but um if failing that don't throw a piece away if it doesn't have skills life leech on but it has anomaly power and cooldown reduction status power is fine healing received is fine those are all good but your your real go-to's here would be cooldown reduction and of course anomaly power now on the first uh, the first piece which is my headpiece i have rocket man on here which gives you three additional rockets now you have to, you have to use mods to increase the overall size of uh, you know your magazine of the amount of rockets you can carry and then you have to use other mods to essentially allow you to replenish that magazine within one rotation of the skill this is one of the skills which al allow you to have a bigger magazine so you start with three additional rockets basically then quartermaster is is one of the reload mechanisms of this build quartermaster when you when you activate it it looks at the active magazine that you have the active weapon that you have and it reloads it to full this works for tool of destruction so when you start with your 11 rockets you shoot all the way down to having one rocket left you fixing wave and then suddenly you're back up to 11 rockets again the benefit of this as well is that you also reload the weapons of your allies which is fantastic also fixing wave heals your allies so this is where the support side of this build comes in and where it's really good that you can not only use this to reload your weapon and your allies weapons but you can also use it as an oh shit button to get out of trouble if you've taken too much damage or if you want to save one of your partners when we go over to the chest piece this is the second piece of grim inventors and on here i have cannonade now cannonade increases the number of rockets that come out of the pain launcher by 10. the more rockets you have coming out of the pain launcher the more chances there are of you proccing that pain launcher effect where it reloads 20 percent of the magazine which is coming from the set bonus so 
again as i've mentioned you only need to hit with five of the rockets from pain launcher to get a hundred percent reload on your tool of destruction so just like you're using fixing wave to shoot your rockets all the way down to one and then hit fixing wave and go back up to 11 you do the same thing with pain launcher you shoot all the way down to one rocket you put your pain launcher down and it fires its volley of rockets and it pushes you back up to um 11 again the cool thing about this is it can be rockets hitting the same target as well so if it's a brood mother standing in front of you and you put the pain launcher down and the pain launcher volley like four of those rockets hit the brood mother that's still an 80 percent reload so really really good um the four the, the the second mod on here and the fourth mod overall is demolition one which just means that each one of your rockets just hits so much harder so this is a pretty big damage increase 210,000. of course this 210,000 goes on top of that and then further on still just gets increased by the overall anomaly power of your character so uh it's not just a flat amount plus 210 there's still the anomaly percentage on top of that as well then when we go to the the pants over here i have special delivery which basically increases the rocket's explosion radius by 33 percent now this is the rocket out of the launcher this makes your splash damage a hell of a lot bigger and essentially uh you can you know kill off six seven eight nine porforo running at you at once or a whole bunch of you know smaller minions that are clustered together and shooting at you anything like that this just makes it uh you know so much better at dealing with an aoe kind of situation now bear in mind also that uh it goes without saying but these rockets when they hit they kind of push enemies around and interrupt and everything like that so uh by you constantly putting this rocket pressure on enemies you are disrupting a lot of their ability to deal damage to you and to your friends and again this is really where the this build shines in a multiplayer scenario because in a multiplayer scenario the enemies might not directly be paying attention to you because you're kind of like an artillery piece in the back just shooting these volleys over healing people shooting rockets into the mix and all of that so you can essentially just become like this mobile artillery platform that is just dealing damage from far away and you know disrupting skills when something's charging up a you know a heal or anything like that you hit him with a rocket and bob's your uncle now this uses the no resistance against the fortified and the um unstoppable force combo and this is why i said it was important to put armor piercing there when we go to the class tree just now and look at that you'll see that we also pick up nodes which basically increase our uh, resistance piercing and our armor piercing and those two are fed by these two mods which overall just increases our anomaly power more which overall just increases our rocket damage now pain launcher is also fed by anomaly power so those volleys that you're shooting are also no slouch and are actually dealing quite a bit of damage as well and are fully capable of decimating a a low tier enemy you know wave or you know again a bunch of small porforo or stuff standing in a back sniper for instance you know anything like that um then when we go over to the hand uh or the gloves rather yeah i have uh, an upgrade to pain launcher called advanced rockets which again just buffs each one of those little rockets is damage as well which is pretty big and we have captain hunt on here because of course we want to be dealing as much as possible damage to elites when they come out and then lastly on the boots i've got bang for your buck which activating the skill grants a hundred percent base ammo increase for the selected tool so this is the second way in which you increase your magazine size so with this and with rocket man on here it means that when you activate tool of destruction and you take your rocket launcher out you start with 11 ammo and 11 ammo is your baseline so from 11 you shoot down to one every time you reload your first time with fixing wave that takes you back up to 11 and then you shoot down to one and then you hit the pain launcher and you go back up to 11 giving you 31 total rockets that you can shoot with now um this has also unstoppable force on which i've already explained so these two together just basically stack your resistance piercing and your uh, armor piercing so you'll see that this has 40 percent armor piercing this is just by default by me just standing here and it has 50 percent resistance piercing this is again phenomenal in co-op modes where you have such a huge amount of armor and such a huge amount of resistance on enemies because of their large life pools this just helps you cut through that a heck of a lot quicker plus this gives you a crap load of anomaly power as you can see on the on the left there where i have 190k unbuffed now when we go over to the skills we of course now by now i figured out which three skills we're using so of course we're using tool of destruction and more specifically we're pulling out the rocket launcher every time so i don't mess around with the minigun i think you could probably do it and it might even be super sexy but i just the idea of this was shooting with the rocket launcher because of the fact that the rocket launcher can interrupt and just deals 
uh, you know, so much damage. I do think, I, I, I'm pretty sure that the minigun also interrupts, but what I like about the rocket launch is it kind of throws enemies around a bit and everything as well. Now, on a side note, I just want to say here that I, I, I have understood from some of my viewers and some people that that in certain multiplayer scenarios, uh, their co-op partners might complain and say, but this makes it hard for, you know, like, a, let's say a bullet bolt to kind of hit headshots because you're throwing the enemies around and everything like that. But again, I feel like this is something that can be dealt with with some coordination, anything like that. So this is by no means a showstopper and, and shouldn't really be something that kind of pushes you away from playing this. Uh, secondly, we're using Fixing Wave, which restores 60% of your max health and 60% of your max health of your turrets, which we're not using at all, but it re restores health for you and for health for your co-op partners. And it's also, as mentioned before, part of that reloading mechani mechanism. Then Pain Launcher is the third one, as mentioned. This is again a skill that interrupts. So you're basically like being, you're, you're able to poke enemies that are trying to use skills and stuff very effectively with this build and essentially keep them from using those skills, which is just really, really powerful. And as mentioned, each one of these missiles hits for 51k. Um, so it's quite substantial, the amount of damage that this can push out on a small wave of enemies as well. Then lastly, we'll go over to the class. And here you'll see that, again, uh, the, the emphasis here is, of course, trying to pick up as much anomaly power as possible, but also to aim for nodes that increase our armor and our, our resistance piercing, or just indirectly buffs our anomaly power or the activation of skills. So I'll draw your attention to the top here, where we're, of course, trying to get to armor piercing 10% there. Then down in the bottom tree, again, as I've mentioned, you're just trying to pick up cooldown reduction. Uh, you're trying to pick up resistance piercing, everything like that, until you get to this first major node here, which basically is wipeout. So enemies below 30% life take 20% more damage. This is quite powerful, especially mostly against elites and bosses. Um, then heavy absorption is super cool for just, uh, again, being able to replenish your health as fast as possible because when you activate either, uh, you know, pain launcher or the rocket launcher you increase your skills life leads by 15 percent for seven seconds which is which is quite a bit and you'll see that health coming in almost immediately then the next major one we're picking up is of course armored unit this this build as you saw when we went through the mods right now has no defensive ability so this is a great way to sort of just buff yourself up in that that regard so again whenever you use pain launcher whenever you use uh the rocket launcher from tools of destruction you're getting 50 percent additional armor now this build has basically an armor of 55k so you'll get another 27k of armor on top of that which just overall makes you you'll be able to take a little bit more damage um you have team player here which is a fantastic mod again for group play which you know just decreases the damage that elites do to you and your teammates by 10 percent and then last but not least tech bond is the big one here because when you activate either pain launcher or the rocket launcher then it increases your anomaly power by 50 percent for 10 seconds now that means when you activate the rocket launcher and, and 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 you take it out those first three to four rockets depending on how fast you shoot them out and how you pick your targets are gonna hit super hard so that's just really really phenomenal and then also by the time you get down to one and you throw out that pain launcher and it starts shooting those rockets then those rockets that it reloads back into your magazine are also again for 10 seconds gonna hit really hard so great mechanism here how you can sort of refresh yourself up and I think that kind of covers all of the nuance of the rotation. And I think it's pretty self-explanatory, you know, how this all comes together. Um, that's essentially it for the build. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave some footage running in the background for you to check out a full run that I did with this, that I was able to complete with a gold completion. Again, um, I wouldn't consider this build to be meta per se. So it's not going to be as fast as a, as a Ash Blast um, overheat uh, uh pyromancer it's not going to be as efficient as a bullet bull technomancer but i think we're all getting tired of those characters a little bit you know playing them and these are the kinds of builds that i'm looking forward to either receiving some buffs which make them like very close to meta with the future you know patch that's looming from uh, people can fly side with regards to outlier skills and just basically increasing their their, their potency and that's really something that I'm hoping that is going to, you know, come out soon. And, and, and then you'll be able to look back at these sorts of builds, at uh, this as well as the grenade build, which I published, and some more things which are coming down the line. 
and possibly find something that is perfect for you and doesn't necessarily have to be you know one of the other sets or one of the other builds that you might have played to death by this point but that's it thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far go ahead and join the discord community which is linked in the description below it's a great place to hang out with a bunch of people uh like-minded gamers that enjoy this game as well as other games you can group up you can ask for help uh, and you can get hold of me because i'm fairly active on that channel but uh that's it for me i uh, think it's just super important that you have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super cool evening wherever you are and until next video fucking cheers